Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into the video. I'm starting off with three bundles of 613, two 20 inch bundles and one 18 inch bundle and then a 14 inch frontal. This hair is from Lux Ego Hair Company. You can use my code Bailey Nicole, and I will leave it in the description below for discounts, free shipping, you know, all that good stuff. The dye I'm using for this hair is Revlon Color Silk. I'm using light brown and dark ash blonde. So I'm using three boxes of the dark ash blonde and then one box of the light brown for the roots and just to mix it into the dye to create some dimension. So this step is completely optional. I'm using Shimmer Light's Purple Shampoo. You can use this just to tone the hair and to create some dimension throughout the hair so it's not just one color, but the dye itself will probably do that on its own. So again, this is completely optional. When you're washing the hair with the purple shampoo, make sure you're completely getting it wet because it will dye purple. So just make it be completely drenched and then only keep it on for about 10 to 15 seconds and then rinse it out. So let's get into dyeing the hair. I basically just read the directions and I mixed the dye and the developer together. I used some of the light brown and I poured it into the ash brown mixture as well to create more dimension within the dye and to make it a little bit darker. But make sure you don't use all of the light brown because you're gonna need it for the roots and the frontal. Y'all, please do not be like me and not use gloves. Halfway through dyeing the hair, my hand started tingling, so please use gloves. I basically just spread the dye out on the bundles and I just made sure that every inch of these bundles was touched with the dye. I suggest combing through the hair, flipping it over, especially if you're folding the bundles when you're dyeing it, just to make sure that every inch of these bundles are touched with the dye. You do not want splotches of ash blonde and just 613 throughout the hair. That will not look good. So you're just going to go ahead and repeat this same process on the rest of your bundles. You're going to start to see the color changing. It's going to look like a dirty brown, but it's okay. That's how it's supposed to look. Just keep going. I left the dye on for about 20 to 25 minutes, but if you see it getting too dark and you're a little bit scared, just go ahead and rinse it out, but you should be fine.
When dyeing the front hole, you're basically going to do the root separately than the rest of the hair. So I added a comb attachment to the tip of the dye just to make it easier to comb this dye through the roots and not make it super uniform. If you don't have a comb attachment, it's okay. You can just use a regular comb and you should be fine. But just make sure there's no straight line or it's not super uniform just to make it be a little bit more natural. Go ahead and repeat the process like you did on the rest of the bundles with the rest of the hair and just really drench this frontal with the ash blonde dye. Once you're done fully dyeing the hair or frontal or whatever you're using, go ahead and rinse it out and wash it with regular shampoo. I wouldn't go back in with a purple shampoo, I would just use regular shampoo. And don't be scared, it's going to look a little dark gray, but once it dries it's going to be really ashy and really pretty, but you'll see. This is what the hair looks like when it's fully dry. You can see those tones, the ashiness. It looks kind of gray in this light, but it's so pretty. And again, don't worry about those roots on the bundles because you will not see them. I went ahead and made this hair into a wig. I actually made this wig on a sewing machine. So if you're interested in a wig, just reach out to me and I can get you together. I make frontal wigs, closure wigs, you part wigs, you know, anything. So just reach out and I will make you one. I'm just going to go ahead and silk press this hair. I, I think I want to wear it straight. I don't know if I'm going to do curls. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to silk press it with my cheek and do a middle part. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do my typical ball cap method or my typical frontal install. I'm going to make a separate video showing you guys how I install my frontals. Um, this is actually my fourth or fifth install of this wig. So the lace is already cut, it's already customized, and the color is a little bit off from the first clip, obviously because I've been washing it and putting heat through it. But I still wanted to show you guys the insult of this wig just so you guys can get a gist of how the wig looks on with my skin tone and you know all that. So I just wanted to alarm you guys first. Okay, so yes, it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm just kind of playing with it, seeing how I want to wear it, seeing how it lays on my head since it's already cut and customized to how I wore it in my previous install, but we're going to get it together, you'll see. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more natural. I'm going to add some of my foundation to the part. I added some baby hairs and then I'm going to add some loose curls and finger comb it out just so it can look a little bit wavy and a little messier. Alright y'all, so this is the final look after I styled it. thank you so much for watching my first youtube video i am so excited to start this please let me know if you have any questions just comment below and i will be adding everything to the description box on the products i use and how i achieve this look entirely so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what more content you want to see on this channel because we about to get this thing popping all right thanks again